Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studios. And joining me in the kitchen is Chef Michael Adams of Historic Hotel Bethlehem. Great to have you again. Always a pleasure. Likewise. What are we making today? We are going to make a shrimp stuffed rainbow trout. You always yeah, come up with something really exciting. And amazing. And amazing, um, absolutely. So we're just going to start off. We're taking some white sweet corn. Mm -hmm. And uh, we soaked it for an hour. And Why we're do just you do gonna, that? Uh, just the moisture content. It helps steam the corn. Mm. And we want to keep it in the husk to keep all that flavor in there. Nice. And we're just gonna put that on the grill. And I'm gonna keep you in charge of the corn. We have to turn that every three minutes. All right, I'll set my timer all right, right now. We're gonna start off uh, over here with uh, making our sauce. All right. It's a well, big carrot. Look at this. It sure is. I'm gonna need my knife here. All right, so we're just gonna start off with uh, some leek, some carrot, and uh, what we're going to make is a vanilla bean vinaigrette. And All so right. we're just gonna have a nice consistent dice on the carrot. We're gonna add some leek. Beautiful. Any reason why you chose to use leek rather than it's celery or onion? Just a little milder mm -hmm. than, than an onion mm -hmm. and um, I don't want it to taste, uh, you know, overpower the, the delicate shrimp and vanilla bean. All right, so, so we have like a modified use... mirepoix. Correct. Cool. All right, so we're just going to take a little bit of the oil here. Olive? Uh, just a neutral oil. All so right. you can use a, a soy, canola, grapeseed, mm -hmm. something very neutral. We don't want that flavor, that Correct. heavy olive flavor. And then we are just going to sweat the carrots mm -hmm. and the leeks. So no color on these, we just want them to release their flavors. Correct. So we're going to sweat it until translucent. Now this is a unique ingredient to go into a sauce. So the vanilla bean, it's just going to, it's going to complement this dish really well with the, the sweet corn and the shiitake mushrooms mm. and the delicate rainbow trout. It's just going to add this really nice sweet dimension to it. Interesting. Now you did, you put vanilla in another sauce that we did one time on the Chef's Kitchen. I think it was with that tea smoked duck. It was. I think we did a banoul vinaigrette for that. Yeah. And we did add vanilla beans. That so. was, to this day, one of the best things that I've eaten on this show. Wow. Which is saying a lot. What a great compliment. So, Thank you. It's the truth. Um, so we're just going to add a bay leaf. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to, if you'd grab a little bit of the tarragon and parsley there. Just a little pinch just of a each. Few? Yeah. Not and that much? Gonna, it's perfect. So All right, now I'm on corn duty still, so. That looks, they're going to get Good. light brown, so okay. just we'll turn that every three minutes. All we're right. going to add the parsley and the tarragon. All right, great. Now, and we're just going to sweat that again. Historic Hotel Bethlehem. What's new? What's happening? Uh, let's see. We're getting into our busy wedding season. Yeah. So. Um, when is we're, not we're, a busy wedding season you know, for you guys there? Um, Good point. Yeah. Uh, March. <laughs> right. March. Um, and that's about the only time we, we, we're not busy, busy with weddings. And then we have a whole bunch of, um, you know, downtown Bethlehem events are coming up. We have uh, Harvest Fest and um, nice. a couple other events that are going on downtown. So that always um, is busy for the hotel. So we're just, you see how they're a little bit translucent yep. there? Then we're going to add some shrimp shells to Ooh, this. Wow. And we're, again, we don't want to cook this. Do you smell that? I sure do. It's you just really the smell vanilla the bean and, and the, the leeks and the tarragon. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Okay, so we're just going to lightly until they turn bright orange. And again, we don't want to caramelize anything. So just really sweating out all of those flavors. Correct. And now you still have the Chef's Kitchen tasting menu over at 1741, yes? We do. And uh, not only do we have it, we're going to have some of the newer dishes that we most recently Fantastic. filmed. Fantastic. So, so this one today? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, How about that smoked duck, my favorite? Um, you know, that is probably <laughs> something you might see as a special okay. and not on the regular menu. Um, I'll have to be notified when that's on special because I need to we'll, eat that again at some point in my we'll, life. We'll post it on uh, our Facebook page. Um, okay, so you see how we got that light color on the shrimp? Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to add water, two mm -hmm. cups of water. And we're just going to, just up to the top of the shrimp shells. And then we're going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes. And as it simmers, it's going to reduce down. Okay. And uh, we'll have a really nice base. Uh, for the vinaigrette. So, so many ingredients sauce. and aromatics in there and not a whole lot of water, so that's going to have really great flavor. So it's going to be uh, nice and fortified. Yeah. All right, and we're going to just turn that up a little bit. Do you want it to boil? 
Uh, just bring it up to a simmer, okay. and then we're gonna turn it back down, and it's gonna slowly reduce. Nice and gentle. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Nordon, it's fantastic. There's a lot of space, high-tech equipment. The ovens are phenomenal. I can't wait to own one. Now we're gonna prepare uh, the trout. Beautiful um, trout. So it's Pocono trout. Mm -hmm. um, we get that from a local supplier. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a rock shrimp mousse. Beautiful. So we're gonna take the, um, we're gonna take some rock shrimp. Look at those, where are they from, Florida? They are from Florida, mm -hmm. yep. And we're gonna just add the shrimp. And this is just a industrial food processors, basically we have this Electrolux Correct. processor. So then we're just going to puree the shrimp. Mm -hmm. They are gonna be fine chopped and then what we're going to do is we're going to add one egg white to this. Now why just the white? So you don't want the fat of the egg mm -hmm. yolk. You're mm -hmm. essentially using the white to uh, bind it into a mousse and it's gonna make it light and fluffy. We need this um, yolk? We do not. Okay. Pour that in. We're gonna add a little salt, mm -hmm. little cayenne pepper. Nice. And then we're okay. gonna add a little bit of cream. So you want and the fat it, from the cream instead of the egg yolk. Correct. We're going to pulse it only because you don't wanna over whip the cream, it's gonna ah, break. So okay. you just wanna, you know, you wanna uh, pulse it and incorporate it into the mousse. All right, we're gonna add a pinch of tarragon. And this is an Electrolux processor, which is one of our featured products. Like working with and it? It works great. And we're gonna add a little bit of parsley. So we have the cayenne pepper, the parsley, mm -hmm. and the tarragon. So we're kind of carrying the same herbs through here as we are in the sauce. Okay, and then finally, we're gonna add just a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. I love how you, you watch over that so intensely, like it's a child. It's easy to break if you mm -hmm. over whip the cream. So we're just gonna add a little fine ground black pepper, and then we're gonna put that into a piping bag. You always like to use the disposable bags as opposed to the cloth? Yeah, especially when you're using fish. We're gonna just butter a piece of parchment paper, a little mm -hmm. bit. And this is already, you know, deboned? And this is and already deboned. But skin on, and skin side down. Skin side down, and we're gonna season those a little bit with hey, salt Mark and pepper. Hey, Mark Sable, corporate are you? chef here at Nordon. Thanks for joining us again. No problem, tell thanks us. Michael for coming. Thank you, it's always a pleasure. So tell us about some of this amazing equipment we're working with today. Well today, um, you guys were just using our, uh, our food processor. Yeah. Um, I hope it worked out really good to make that mousse. Looks like it did. I would um, think it's so. It's really easy. Um, multiple speeds, it's not just a slow, medium, or fast. You can do one through 10 on that. Oh wow. You can do pulse. Um, you know, it has a unique scraper on the inside. I noticed that. You can that. see through the cover. Yeah, the little uh, yeah. hand crank on top. Mm -hmm. You know, the clear cover, stainless steel. It's a very good piece of equipment. And then we're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna marry this because we're gonna cook the uh, trout, shrimp stuffed trout here in our combi oven. Nice, and you're making like a, a fish sandwich, it <laughs> looks like, where Just the trout is the bread. <laughs> Essentially, that's what we're doing. Um, and, you know, with that nice shrimp mousse inside. Um, and we're just going to, you know, the great thing about the Electrolux combi ovens mm -hmm. is, um, you know, the steam injection for fish mm. is just going to keep it so moist. Yes. And it's going to cook evenly. And they're just amazing to uh, work with. We actually have two of them at the hotel. Do you? And, and we've yeah. worked with this here multiple times, and it's always a chef favorite, I have to say. Yes. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, and you're saying steam injection, but you're actually telling it how much steam to use. It's Correct. Not, you know. Yeah. So if you want, if, you know, if you want a different result, if you want, you know, you can almost have it to boiling point. Wow. You know, and a hundred percent humidity in yeah. that oven. So, um, you know, when we're when we're cooking for banquets, it's mm -hmm. we're essentially doing the vegetables to order. Wow. We're not even pre-cooking those. We're we're doing everything, and we're popping that in the oven and cooking the order, and the result is amazing. So it's just so easy to control. Mm -hmm. And this is the newer model. Yes. Yeah, um, it is a newer model. It's our, it's our top of the line. Mm -hmm. This is an Aerosteam sure touchline. Mm -hmm. And our touchline has a keypad very similar to a lot of the smartphones today. Oh, really? Right? As you can see, it says load oven, temperature has been reached. So we're going to take the fish 
when we open the door, I always ask people, just make sure you stand back a little, you get yeah. a little facial <laughs> carefully. We're gonna put it in here. You can fit a lot in there, that's a big oven. I'm touching the side of this here and it's completely cool to the touch too, so very safe. Yes. Perfect. So Michael, you have it set at 180 degrees, and then he's also got it at 30% saturation. And why did you pick 30%? So just the, the you know, you, you want it on the lower end. Mm -hmm. um, you don't, you know, with humidity, it actually is gonna raise the temperature. Okay. So you just want, you know, enough to keep that fish moist. It's nice and yep. gentle. Yep. Beautiful. Well, thanks, Mark. Great. You're gonna come back and help us taste a little bit later? Oh, of course. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. This is my first time at Nordon and it's been an absolutely incredible experience. The equipment is top notch from the induction burners to this, I mean, the stove gave up off incredible heat, but wasn't hot to me. This deck oven is beautiful. I mean, a plancha, the variety of, of products that they have is incredible. Okay, so we're gonna come back to the sauce now. Great, so this is simmered for a few minutes. Sure, we simmered it for approximately 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And all of that flavor, the vanilla bean, the tarragon, the oh, bay leaf. It smells incredible. And uh, you, you just, this is gonna be a really nice flavorful base for the vinaigrette. Mm. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna strain this off into a nice bath. We're not going to emulsify a vinaigrette um, in a hot liquid. Right? So yeah, you always wanna, want to use something really cold when you emulsify. So we just want to cool this down mm -hmm. while the fish is in the oven. Mm -hmm. We're just going to prepare uh, a quick saute. Beautiful shiitakes. Gorgeous. Really nice and, caps. And we're going to do um, a real nice quick saute of the, the grilled corn and some leeks. How'd I do? And we're just... Def Steaming, it's fresh. Mm, it All that smells really good. It smells that? like popcorn. Almost, it does you smell know? like popcorn. Um, and we're just going to take the, you know, you want to remove all of the corn silk there. Mm -hmm. They're and, tricky, the corn silks. And we're going to take it off the. So, for those who don't know much about the historic Hotel Bethlehem, why don't you tell us a little bit about the hotel? So um, the hotel was uh, built in 1922, mm -hmm. and uh, it was built by uh, Charles Schwab and uh, during the Bethlehem Steel times and uh, wanted to you know, provide a top-notch facility uh, for their clients. And um, you know, it's just continued on. You know, we have two restaurants. We have 1741, mm -hmm. we have the tap room little more casual restaurant and our 1741 is our fine dining. We also have really nice banquet facilities. Mm -hmm. We have our grand ballroom sure and our mural ballroom uh, with additional rooms for smaller spaces mm -hmm. for corporate functions. And how many hotel rooms? Uh, we have 128 newly renovated hotel rooms. Excellent. So they just completed that last month. It's a nice size so, too, not too big, not too small. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take the uh, shiitake and just julienne it a little mm -hmm. bit. Those are so fresh. Where do you get your mushrooms from? So we get uh, Primordia mushrooms. Mm -hmm. They're a local supplier. They do um, about six to eight different varieties. And uh, they also provide us with wild chanterelles mm, and wonderful. Uh, morels when they're in season. You can bring and some of those next time. Definitely will. <laughs> so we're just going to add a little bit of oil. And again, just a neutral oil so we don't want that olive flavor. Correct. We're going to start off with the leeks. And we're just gonna lightly saute, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna add our, our shiitakes. Any reason you're using a nonstick pan? Um, no particular reason. Okay. You can use any pan that you have available, mm -hmm. you know, as long as it works for you. And then we're just gonna take some of the corn off. And it's kinda nice if you can keep them in for the presentation. You can keep it a little bit, get a little close to the to So the it all kinda stays then, together? Correct. I love that. Because you know that way that it came off of a cob, it didn't come from a bag or from a can. Correct. Um, then we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to that. Mm. So sweet, that corn. There's nothing like perfectly in season corn. Little pepper. Then we're going to do a little bit of rock shrimp in here, just for the garnish. Nice. And those are pretty big for rock shrimp. Yeah, they are. I mean, you can get, you know, if you can get them in your yeah. local place. Going to add a little bit of whole butter to it. And then let's finish with some, a little bit of tarragon. More tarragon, I love it. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna set that aside. And that's that. It's 
very simple. All right, we're just gonna let that rest for a minute mm -hmm. while we finish up our vinaigrette. Great. All right, so we are going to start off with adding some champagne vinegar. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be champagne or could you just use a simple if white you, wine? White wine vinegar is fine. Um, you know, something on the neutral side. Mm -hmm. um, and then no we're gonna balsamic. take our no balsamic. <laughs> no balsamic. And then we're gonna add this beautiful shrimp vanilla wow. bean. Look how thick it is. And The key to this is going nice and slow. Correct. Just a little bit at a time. How much oil in proportion to the vinegar and the stock? So usually three parts oil to one part of the uh, stock and the vinegar. We are almost there. We're just gonna hit it on high for a second. And you're just looking for that to get kind of thick. Correct. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Cooking in Nordon is one of the, my most favorite things that I get to do when I get invited to the show, just because the equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. We're just about ready to complete our dish here. Perfect. So we have our vinaigrette and our rock shrimp sweet corn and shiitakes. And we are, look at that, 18 seconds away Ooh. from that. Wow. Rainbow trout from coming out of the oven. You're pretty good with timing. Uh, you have yeah, to be you know, good with timing well, to be a chef of your stature. You, you do. Okay, so look at that. Do you see how the mm -hmm. there's no protein coming out of the fish? Yes. And it's nice and shiny from the butter and... A nice loud alarm to tell us that it's done because there's so many noises happening in the kitchen at all times. We need that. So then we have our fish that's perfectly cooked. And do we have a wow, spatula? Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. So here's what we're going to do. Just that gonna skin, take our, you'd never even know it's cooked. It looks like it's still raw. We're going to take the rock shrimp and the shiitake and the sweet corn. Gorgeous. And the leeks. Really nice end of summer flavors here. Kind of still summer, but transitioning into fall. Yep. And then we have our trout here. And these are both for me. Which one, what are you gonna eat? <laughs> okay. And we're just gonna take our vanilla bean shrimp. Mm. So light. And there we go. Awesome. Any finishing touches or is this it? I think that's it. Excellent. I'm going to bring this over to the table. And I'm very excited to have a taste. Mm, this looks beautiful. Well, we're doing something a little new today. We have Matthew Cellerier of Unistar Importers to show us one of these beautiful rosés. Thank you for having me today. Mm -hmm. So this time, in my backpack from France, because that's what we do. We go to France and we pick some wine and we ship it over. Love it. Uh, you know, I'm married to a lovely wife and she loves her champagne, pink champagne. So <laughs> I have some times to bring a nice champagne style in order for me to be able to sleep in the same bed. Also, <laughs> take so this time I've been able to do uh, a little trip and I visited 15 wineries, but I've never been happy about the quality of what they were producing. Mm -hmm. And I finished with this winery. It was really my last shot to be able to sleep in my bed. <laughs> so I went to this winery and I tried this wine and I was like, wow, that's amazing. So what's, what's the secret behind it? So there's many things that are interesting about this wine. First of all, it's an organic wine. Nice. Secondly, it's a blend of Merlot and Malbec, which is completely unusual Thank for you. French the wine. Really? And the last but not the least is that the bubbly reaction, so the second fermentation, is overseen by the same person 
that was used to do that for the white Chandon champagne. Mm. So you have a wine that you don't need to take a mortgage to buy a bottle, <laughs> but it's still lovely. And it is made by people who care for their vines. And also it's only produced 5,000 bottles each year. Wow. So it's micro, micro production. And we are the only one importing it because they're too small. I'm and we're so small, excited so to we try. Like that. So I just hope it will be on par with the awesomeness of the trout that Chef mm. prepared for us. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Mm. And cheers. cheers. Mm. And you serve many of these wines, including mm. this one at the Hotel Bethlehem. We do. This is excellent. Mm. Delicious. What do you mm. think? What do you think, Chef? Delicious. Delicious? Mm. It's going to go great with the, with the dish we prepared I agree. Today. So why don't mm. we get to tasting? I have to get a little bit of everything in one bite. Mmm. That vinaigrette really pulls the whole thing together. And the fish is so perfectly steamed. Absolutely fabulous. Mm. The Electrolux equipment, everything here at Nordon mm. has been absolutely fabulous. Wonderful wine, always incredible food. Thank you all for being here and thank you for having us. No problem. Come thank back you. soon, okay? Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Well, first of all, it's a pleasure always working with the whole crew here. It's a lot of fun. And then to boot, we get the uh, amazing electrolux equipment. And this kitchen is just amazing to cook in. It's always a lot of fun. And I always look forward to doing the show here.